Hi FlossTube friends, how are you? This is Angie, um, Bub Mai on Instagram, my channel where I talk about all things stitching. I hope you're well. I hope um, you're staying cool in this heat. It is Tuesday, July 2nd here in Illinois. It is hot. I just came back from lunch a little bit ago and the car said it was 99 degrees out. So I had to stop and have a little Starbucks chai tea latte. I'm sure that you have seen lots and lots of videos about where lots of 397 stitchers were in Cincinnati, Ohio this weekend. I was one of them. I had a blast. I'm not going to show um, I'm not going to show what I got as part of StitchCon, but I'll show the other stuff that I got cuz you're probably tired of hearing about StitchCon. Um, it was wonderful and I love meeting up with stitchy friends and that's fabulous. So, a um, little bit of old business first. I want to show the love to Cavell, she lives in Canada, and we have been um, been writing back and forth through email and through snail mail, and she sent me this stitchy love. Isn't that sweet? I just absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So hi, Cavell. Um, so let's first talk about haul. The first thing I bought, which I bought before I even left for Ohio, um, Sunshine Stitchers, Gary show, showed this. Sorry for the glare. He was selling this, and my husband is a drummer. There we go. And my nephew is going to Eastern Illinois University, and his major is music, and he plays the upright bass, and he's fabulous. So... I have, would have two people to, I could make two, I could do two, I should do two, so I really love that. And I didn't tell my husband I got that. Um, I told him, I said I wanted it, and then in my haste of like, oh my gosh, I want it, then later I'm like, why is no one else asking for this, or like me next? And then I looked at the price, I'm like, oh, that's why it's not a print piece, and it was a little pricey, and so I said, whoops, sorry, and then I later messaged him and said, if you'll come down in price, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> and he did. So I'm very excited. Um, so of course, while I was at StitchCon, I bought, um, lots of things. I bought some Leslie LaFleur under the sea fabrics. Um, I played with doing, um, 40 count. I've never really done 40 count. And my first piece I didn't think was, I messed up a little bit. I missed by one thread and I didn't notice it till later. I was making a little scissor fob. If I come across it, I'll show it to you. And it kind of janked up. I wasn't gonna rip it out. It janked up some of the stitches. And you could only see if you like really looked closely, but I'm like, I can't give this to someone because someone with really good eyes will go, look at you, you janked this up. So I just kept it and I showed it to my friends and they're like, it's fine, it looks fine, but I'll keep it. So I thought I need to practice on 40 count. So I got some 40 count and I really like it a lot. And then from Needle Bling Designs, I got this, it's called Sunflower Jack. Isn't he adorable? I just love that. And I don't have, now that I don't have an LNS in here, I don't have anywhere to get like nice stitching, like finishing stuff. I don't, I don't have, at least I haven't found anywhere that does um, chenille or nice pom-pom things. I, at Joann's I can get, you know what that is? <laughs> you know what that is? I want to call it zigzag, rickrack, rickrack, zigzag. I can get that, but I want chenille, and so I got some chenille and some gray. Musket is exactly the color. I got the new Prairie Schooler, although I've been collecting these, and have I made one yet? No, I haven't, so that's on the to-do list. I got this Trilogy Witch. I think she's cute, although she's holding a dove. There's a little bird, or a little bird. It's a little bird um, charm. 
and I think I'm gonna look for a different charm. I think like a black cat or a bat or something else might be good for that. And then heart and hand, I got this be my be my honey. Um and then Arlene was there and I love Arlene's work and so I got this piece. Isn't that pretty? It's called The The Birds and the Bees of 1557. I just love that. And uh, Luminous Fiber Threads. A Bluebird Salute. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. He's so cute. Um, and I gotta stop saying that. I also, uh-oh, I lost my stick. I got one of these. I think this was with Shakespeare's Peddlers. Oh, I take that back. Or it was with Heart and Hand. Somebody's trunk show display this was at. And there's supposed to be a little dowel rod right here. I don't know where that went. So it would stand up easily. I can always get a new dowel rod. But then you could, they showed it. The dowel rod! Oh, that's funny. Sorry. So the dowel rod goes in here and then it like stands like an easel. So they showed it with a finish. They um, dyed this blue. It was blue. And they finished a piece, a small piece, and put it on heavyweight wool. And then the wool top was a little bit longer, so it sat under here. And then you could see the, the piece right here. So it was really cute. So I had to get that. Um, I got all of this except for the fabric was bought at when I went into keepsakes. I think that really for that, I think, was that all bought at keepsakes? No, it was not. These two pieces and this clipboard I bought at the trunk show. The other things I bought at keepsakes. Um, I have some fabric I'll show you. In, it's in my project bag that I'll show you that I got from Leslie as well. We went next door to the, there's a quilt store next door. So we went next door and I got these buttons. I'm sure that I could get these back in Bloomington, but I just thought they were, these owls were so, they're so regal with their little sleeping caps on. And then these birds, So I got those. I did participate in the Smalls Exchange and Susanna from Plano, Texas was whose box that I got. Um, I this year put my small piece in a box. So when I went up there, I thought I'll grab a box. And this is what I got. She did this design and made it into a little project bag. She did a beautiful job. I love ticking. I just think it's so pretty. So very excited to get this and meet Suzanne from Plano. And inside she had a little pin cushion and she gave me a little heart stick pin. And some tags so I could write on what is in my project bag and then attach it to the pull of my project bag. And a she must like know me or something. I don't think we'd ever met before. She gave me a um, utility tote, like a to go to the grocery store, which I try to use these all the time. My goal, one of my goals for a couple years ago was no plastic bags from the grocery store. So I try to always take in mine. I'm pretty good, I, I'm, I'm better than pretty good because I don't have very many that we have to take to the grocery store to recycle them anymore very few very few so we're doing pretty good on that and if we go when they're bagging it we ask for paper because that's what we put our recycling in and then I got this cool scissor fob she put the state of Texas on it because that's where she's from and a little needle threader right a needle threader and these fabulous scissors I didn't have a pair like that and this cool sparkly fob 
So that was very, very nice. It was very exciting. If you go to something and you're going to do an exchange, I would highly encourage you to do it. I know that it's, it is nerve wracking. It's very nerve wracking for me. In fact, what I had, I was like panicking that maybe, maybe I shouldn't. And so I redid something at the last minute and then I finished it into a pillow. Did I take a picture of it before I gave it away? No. Did I, I took a picture with the person who got my small, but did I take a picture of what I gave away? Nope, I don't have one. So, oh well, that's okay. I can remake it, I saved the pattern. I was gifted this cute pin cushion and this is a little, this is a little teacup. I can't see anything on the back of it. Like it doesn't say anything on the bottom. But now when I think when I go antiquing, I might be looking for little tiny teacups to make pin cushions because this is like so adorable. Thank you, Mary. All right, I left with all these grandiose plans of all these projects I was going to start and all these things I was going to do. I knew better. I knew I didn't need to take, I don't, I, I, I don't remember if I took 12 or if I put some back or... So, let me show you. I have a huge mess over here. This was one of my things I was going to start, and I did start this. Um, this is for my son, Ben, who lives who lives in Nashville. And, ooh, will you guys say a prayer for Ben? He's my nurse, and he has mono. He, he went to work. He's, he, they didn't let him. He was diagnosed on Friday evening. They didn't let him work Saturday or Sunday. He worked last night. They said they made him wear a mask the whole time, which he said was super annoying. Um, he is feeling better. He slept a lot the first two days. But say a prayer that he gets over it. He's not, he, he is not a good patient and he's not, he's not happy. Um, we have this thing, I think I've talked about it before, that my boys, where they live now, that's not home. This is home. Uh, so Thomas has, at his house in Chicago, he has a piece that says, home is where your mom is and it's a little house. And so I did this one for Ben. I changed it. Let me get the, there we go. I changed it from Lizzie's pattern, from her pattern. I hope she doesn't mind. Sorry. Uh, I changed, he loves orange. That's his favorite color. So that's why there's lots of orange in there. And I, the words are the same. I didn't use any of the called for threads. And then I didn't do the border on the top or the bottom. And I added, um, so they're, the, the bees are kind of symbolic. So here's me by the home. This bee is me. And then these are Dave and the four boys. Jeffrey's in heaven. So he's up here. And then this is, even though he's represented twice, this is Ben and Tori, his girl. So I'm very excited to give it to him. He's coming home tomorrow for the 4th of July. It's going to be Jeffrey's 21st birthday. So they're all excited. They're having celebration um sorry I'm not supposed to be doing that I did not take any sh I did not write any notes and I know I don't I didn't show an afghan I didn't go searching for an afghan today I'm I need to go through all my videos and see which afghans I've shown and then and I'm gonna mark them somehow I think I'm gonna put like a safety pin on them or something and then take stock of what I have and what I still need to show. So I will do that. There was a freebie table at StitchCon. And so let me show you all the fun freebies that I got. I got this cool spool. I don't know what is, I don't, I don't know what's exactly on here. And I can't really read the top. Merrick, I think it says. I think it was gotten in an antique shop. The, the table was quite full, quite, quite full. I got a tube of linen. This is 28 count pure Irish linen. Nobody, 
my Joann's is not selling Charles Craft. I think that Michael's has a little bit. Hobby Lobby has none. Hobby Lobby is going to all their own brand, that Artiste brand, and I've talked about that before, that it's okay, but it the chemical smell on it is a little hard to take for a while. A little hard to take. So, what did I get? Oh, the freebie table. I got two just cross stitches. I might have gotten more, but I don't know that I had these, so I grabbed them. If I do have them, I should have checked first. If I do, oh, I got three. <laughs> if I do have these, I will check in at the next video. I'll put them up for grabs. I got this one on State Flowers. It's an older book. This is a Leisure Arts copy right 1978 but it's the state flowers and they have the indiana peony which peonies are my absolute favorite favorite flower i have one two three four beds of peonies in my backyard and i love them they don't bloom nearly as long as they could but this pattern is quite lovely and so i'm very excited about that and I didn't realize that Illinois were the violet, even though I should know that since I lived, lived here for so many years. Um, let's see. Got this adorable prairie schooler bee. I got this Mickey Mouse book. Check it out. Very, very excited about this. By Paragon Needlecraft to copyright. Oh, I can't read that. Nin 1980. Might be 1980. I need my readers on. That was an awesome score. Let's see. I have this peach and apple basket. I think that my dad's wife would like this. I got a Lizzie Kate piece on earth. And this Cricut collection. This is titled, It's in the Basket, book number 221. I like those acorns on top of that basket. I got this Itty Bitty Seasons Winter and Autumn by Twisted Threads. You guys know I'm a sucker for a snowman. Um, Under the Rainbow, designed by Jane Moore. Oh, 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 that way. I'm a sucker for Sesame Street, too. I love Elmo. These are supposed to be, like, bib things, but I think that they could be cute little smalls for some day. All right? I showed you in that video that I bought that trivia, trivet and then it broke and my husband glued it back together so I was kind of afraid to bust it because I figured it's going to bust some more. So my friend Mary went down and got into her, um, her mom collected trivets and so she asked me to take this and she said go ahead and bust it out and use this as a frame. Which I thought was so sweet and I was like I kind of hate to because it belonged to her mom. But she said no, bust it. I said, okay, I'll bust it. Uh, I got this Lizzie Kate, bless this family. Is that the name of it? Yeah, bless our family. I got some Mill Hill snowmen, which I've yet to do a Mill Hill thing. I need to do a Mill Hill thing. I think this is the fourth kits I've gotten, and I haven't done it. I got this little prairie schooler. And a twisted thread polar bear skiing. My um, Charlene Thomas's uh, fiance, she does ski patrol up in Wisconsin, so she might have to have that one. All right. Uh, Mitten. This is a stone and thread. I've never heard of that. 
stoneandthread.com. Here's a ready set. So, ooh, here's a hands-on design. Isn't this one of the newer ones? It's got the felt and the star in there. Ooh. A waxing moon design, Silent Night. Um, a Little House Needleworks hen party with all the um, accoutrements. I like that word, accoutrements. I picked this up for a friend who loves birds, so I'll be shipping that out. Dimensions kit. Everything's in here. The floss is in here. There's just no Ada in here. And so I don't know that my person I'm going to give this to is an Ada person, so that'll work out nicely. Uh, Cricut Collection Three Gables. I love tea, so this was way up my alley. A Raise the Roof Gnome Sweet Gnome. I love Susie Reno. She's so sweet. Uh, I got, when I grabbed this, I was thinking of G Ginger Gerald, the mushrooms. And then there's more than just that in the back. There's the, more than just mushrooms in here, although there's quite a few mushrooms. There's a thing on here. I don't see a picture of it. It's, if it weren't for la the last minute, a lot of things wouldn't get done. I work so much better under a deadline. And then there's a pincushion design with scissors and a pincushion and buttons and um, spools of thread. That's it. Brain is not working today. Oh. This cherished stitches, feathered friends. It says, "Let ever, let every rising hour bring some useful lesson on its wing." How cute is that? adorable. I got some, a little bit of Ada and some linen off the table. I never, I never heard of these guys. Oberlin samplers. Oberlin from Oberlin, Ohio. This is an old chart because it looks like it's hand, um, hand charted. I think that's really cool. A waxing moon designs. See this kit. This pulls in. Love this because it pulls in two holidays together. A snowman who's ready for Fourth of July. Um. And then a country cottage needleworks. And the, the snowflake button is in there. So very excited. Very very excited about those. Now, I think I've shown you in the past that my first piece I ever did on linen was this Palavon. I'd never, I was an Ada person up until then, never knew anything about it at all. And then I was with, I was working at Kohl's. It was after, so it was 1995, 96. And one of my coworkers, Gail said, Hey, she, we figured out that we both like to stitch and she goes, let's get together and stitch. And I'm like, Oh, okay. And so, we went to a coffee shop and we were stitching and I was showing her that I wanted to do that piece and she's like, you should do that on linen. And I'm like, what's linen? And so she got me a piece of linen or I got a piece of linen. I, I don't remember how that all went down, but that was my first piece on linen. And I love Paula Vaughn. I just love her. So when I was there, there was just a few Paula Vaughn's. Now there, I went through everything that I have and there were two duplicates. So if anyone would like to have these, you are, I, you know, make a comment below and I will send them to me, to you. This is Make Believe Leaflet 2317. And this one is Fabric of Dreams Book 13. So if you would like either one of those, um, Make a comment, and I will ship that right out to you because I am happy to share my haul. So this is book 77, Gifts of Love. And 
book 20 long ago. I've got these in chronological order. Book 25, Rose of Sharon. Book 825, Needlewoman. Book 829, The Embroiderer. Book 904, Memories of Christmas. Book 35, Cherished Memories. Book 43, Sonnets of Love. Book 45, Summer Breeze. Book 49, Midsummer Roses. Book 51, A Time to Dream. Book 61, Inspired by Scripture. And there's a scripture verse down there at the bottom, and I apologize, I don't have my ears. But, oh, there must be two. Hang on, let me see. Yes, there's two patterns in there. One is by, one is uh, something from Genesis, and the other one is something from Ruth. And the last one I got is Stolen Moment, book 64. So, that was my freebie table haul. Love that. So, let me get, Ooh. okay, got my things from the floor. For next time, I will show you sweet, sweet Kathy, Kathleen, not Kathy, Kathleen from Kathy's, Kathleen's Trodden Trail brought me some punch needle supplies to get me started because I really wanted to do punch needle. And so I, it's downstairs. I'm not smart enough technology wise to stop and start. So I will show that next time, but I think it's pretty cool and I really enjoyed it. So I went out today. I needed a, I needed a board to, um, these are all the needle minders I got. We do, people do needle minder exchanges and you don't have to exchange. You could, some people just gave them away. And so these are all the ones that I got. I bought this one. It's King Henry VIII. I got that and I'm going to give that to my mother-in-law since she loves him. And this one right here says Stitch Con. I don't know if it says 19 on it. Nope, it just says Stitch Con. This one is that Snow White. She's holding an apple. So those are all the needle minders I got, either by trading or gifting. So I'm gonna put all of them on there and hang them up over here because my um, my Charlie Brown my Charlie Brown lunchbox is run out of room. So I needed something bigger. I told you guys a while ago that I was trying to figure out what to do, how to frame my memory piece for my grandma and all the things that I wanted on it and in it. And I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table. And I I just couldn't decide. And then I was looking in my nightstand and I found my grandma's babushka, which is her, what she went to the hairdresser every week and got her hair washed and, and styled and curled. And so on windy days, she'd wear a babushka, which is a headscarf and it was tied under her chin and there'd be like a, point back here and I got her babushka I have it and so I just couldn't decide what to do and when I found my babushka the babushka I was like well I can't get a mat and a frame because what am I going to do with bab the babushka how am I going to put it in there so I was at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago and I saw a shadow box and I hemmed and I hawed and I looked at it and it was almost $70, but it was on, it was half price. So I, I walked away from it and then I thought more about it and I thought it's half price, $35. If it's still there, 
If it doesn't go and it doesn't work, you could always do something else with it or return it. And this, this is pretty big. And it's like a medicine cabinet. I'll show it to you guys. But I put, I just, it's not like officially in here. But I've put in here the things of hers that I want in here. I think almost all of it. So here's the Black, um, Blackbird's Design piece that I did with her name on it and her birth date and death date. This and this are the what she crocheted. That's her, her work, and it's with that super fine thread. And here's her picture. And then behind here, I kind of folded it so it kind of came down to a point so you could see, like, the outer edging. Oops. And then up at the top. And then at the very bottom are her pack of crochet needles that she had. I also have dropping everything I also have she was big into Girl Scouts she was a Girl Scout leader and so I have her Girl Scout pins that I was thinking about putting in there and I also have one of her many rosaries and so I was thinking about putting that in there so I got to play with it it's just like loosely pinned in there just so I could hold it up and show you but what's cool about this and I didn't realize when I bought this what's cool about it let's see if I could do it is it opens like a medicine cabinet so if at any time I want to take something out or add something, it will be really easy to do because it's magnets that hold it holds it shut. The only thing I, I'm not wasn't a hundred percent is it's kind of thick. So hanging on the wall, you know that this isn't like laying flush to the wall. But I thought it was a pretty frame. I'm gonna play with it because I'm not really happy about like the color like that you see the the stuff down there so I'll have to play with it but there it is finally it only took me seven months to figure something out so. there's that so what did I work on while I was away with all my stitching friends first let's show you sorry I'm just turning off screen everything like fell off my lap First, I'll show you, I've been working diligently-ish on Let Freedom Ring. I got smart, look, I, need, I, I, threaded four, I threaded four needles to work on the brick of this. So when I came home today, I started working. I sat for a little bit and worked. So I couldn't take this with me. I, it wouldn't sit on the frame and I wasn't gonna like wiggle myself around to make it happen so let's see I can't remember I bought and I think I showed you maybe I didn't maybe I did this piece for my son both my sons for their future lives Thomas, so I asked the kids, what's your favorite colors? And Thomas and Charlene's favorite colors are teal and blue. So under the sea fabrics, Leslie is like a mastermind. And as soon as I like knew that I wanted the background fabrics to represent their favorite colors, I knew Leslie's was the, Leslie was the place to get the fabric. And she had a trunk show. And so here's what I got. So I'm, and I got this started, so I got almost the H. Very, very excited about that. And then Ben and Tori, his favorite color is orange and her favorite color is pink. So I think that I got that, I think I did pretty well with that. So they will get the same pattern. I'm pretty excited. Pretty, pretty excited about that. So what else did I work on? Well, I'm going to show you this. I kitted it up and I did a few stitches. It was kitted up. I just pulled it out and figured out what thread I was going to, fabric I was going to do it on. Um, Plum Street Sampler Mary U. I've had the tin. I've had this all kitted up for several years now and I didn't have, but I didn't have, this is on 36 count. I didn't have any 36 count. So we'll see what happens. I've got this, it is, uh, it's 
25 count white opalescent. I don't know who it's by, but I'm gonna do it over one. And so I started it just to see if I could do it and what I thought, and it was stitching up really nicely. So, and I don't even know what that was I stitched. I don't know if that's a tree or what color it is, but so I took that, it didn't come out of the bag. I told you a while ago that I was going to stitch Wrigley, Cousin Wrigley, and then I'm going to do him in his green and rename him Ivy. And then I'm going to do him in Cubs colors. And I think, and then I'll, oh, oh, I'm going to rename him Ivy. I'll do him in Cubs blue and name, have that be Cousin Wrigley. And then somebody asked me to do one in Detroit colors too. So maybe that'll happen. So Wrigley got, or Ivy got a start. good amount done on that and I took la di da peace on earth that I'm doing for my dad and I'm redoing the colors that came with me and that was I should have like thought out my colors first and like got it kind of planned out better because I started the tail and didn't like the tail and so I did it in another color and I didn't like the tail and so now I think I'm happy with the tail and the underside so we'll see there's where I'm at that but that was two pullouts and two restitches because his tail was partly done before I even left. So I was happy with that. Happy, happy with that. I fangirled a little bit. A lot of bit, but a little bit. And I took two of my Lindy Stitches piece, Lindy Stitches pieces that I had done, but they're not fully finished, but they're done. And I had my picture taken with her holding my pieces, and then I had her sign Penelope's posies. She's so sweet. Stephanie is so sweet. So kind. And, you know, I had to go to, I think, four Barnes & Nobles before I got this so that I could have Arlene Cohen's beautiful piece. And Arlene shared with me when we were talking about it. Did she share in her video? I can't remember. CRS. So this right here, that's three-ply. And then, see that's three ply. This right here is one ply, and then the other is two ply. And look at that awesome effect that it gives. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. I'm so excited to have this. Okay, so what else did I work on? I worked on a piece I've had for a really long time and have never started. I can't believe I didn't start it. My hometown, Munster, Indiana, they used to, back in the late 80s, have a cross-stitch store called A Stitch in Time. And I bought this. It's on, yes, this is a photograph. It's a photograph. Um, the copyright on it says 1987. So I worked on, and I'm just doing this on Ada. So I got... Was that everything? I think that was everything. That was everything. I have one more thing to show you. I, you know, what a peanuts lover I am. I saw this on So Much to Love's site and I was like, oh, oh, I gotta have that. And then I'm like, you knucklehead, you don't need that. So I went to bed and said, if it's there in the morning, I'm getting it. And I did. I'm very excited about that. I think that's it, everybody. I, my, my room is such a disaster. I'm so glad you can't see it. And my hair's a disaster. But I knew as hot as it was out that if I flat ironed it, that I'd spend all the time flat ironing it. And then when I got back, it would, it would look like this. So I hope everybody's good. I hope you're getting in some stitchy time. I hope if it's super hot where you are that you have someplace cool to be and you are staying cool. I really hope that because it's it's really hot out. 
but it's summertime and I kind of would rather have this than negative 50. I think I really would, even though it's really hot and I know some, some people are suffering from it. Get some stitching in, enjoy the stitch. If you wanted those Paula Bonds, will you make a comment below? I would like to know where is your favorite place or what is your favorite time to stitch? Where do you stitch? Lately on, uh, I was standing and stitching for a while because when school got done, I had, my neck was so stiff. I have, there is a, something's out of place back here. And I finally went and got a massage from Wilma who's fabulous and she's like, holy cow girl, you have some knots. In fact, she said at one point, she goes, that knot reached up and grabbed my hand. So I was standing and stitching and that was okay. I enjoyed that because I could run into the dining room and I could stitch for a couple minutes and walk out. And then I, I think people were coming over so I had to bring it upstairs. And so then I've been just sitting, sitting here, sitting right back there where right there against my my uh, wall hanging and next to Snoopy and sitting there stitching. I don't mind sitting on the floor. It's okay. Um, but I stitched some of everywhere, like I did car stitching yesterday, which is great. So tell me below, where do you like to stitch? What's your favorite stitchy spot? Sometimes I like to sit outside and stitch on the front porch too and listen to the birds. When I was out doing yard work today, there was a woodpecker who was just going crazy. And that was kind of cool to listen to. All right, everybody, like my mother-in-law says, I hope you get to stitch till your fingers can't hold the needle any longer. Have a great day. Bye.